Is the sun going to die? Is it just simply interference with the satellite? I don't know, but we're going to talk about it right now because it's news time! All right, so let's take a look at this, baby. It could all just burn down, couldn't we? Just burn right the frig down. You know, this is uh, kind of scary stuff when you look at it. You know, there's a big hole. It says NASA just spotted a massive hole growing on the surface of the sun. And here's what it means. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory just spotted a massive hole in the sun's surface called Coronal Hole. Had to be careful about that. Coronal Hole. My last name's Cronin. Coronal Hole. It's named after me. That's it. It's named. They named it after me, folks. Ah, uh, but no, they didn't. Uh, High-speed solar winds that can sometimes disrupt the satellite are being blamed. Um, so the cooler surroundings could be the solar winds. Do you buy this? Is it really solar winds or is it NASA and the government once again covering up something so we don't all freak out? You remember when we saw those those objects moving in and out of the sun what were those we still don't really know they said it was maybe solar flares or things like that but hey as scary as this is and as weird as this is and it, for the people that are really interested in this stuff by the way i have another youtube channel called final frontier news look up my other channel final frontier news we talk about all this type of stuff over there only this type of stuff mostly um Science, conspiracy, and, and other things like that. You may love it, actually. It's podcast format. Uh, but if you don't, whatever. We're talking about this right now. So deal with it. The death could happen. But forget soul, Forget what's happening to the sun here. Forget that there could be a black mass, something dying in the sun or killing the sun, or something weirder happening with the sun that we don't even know about. Forget that. Any second, the grid could go down, okay? If one of these big solar flares just shoots right off at us and takes us out like has happened before. Tons of evidence that it's happened before. It's a fact in history that it's happened before. And if what happened not that long ago, I think it was about 100, so 200 years ago or so, uh, if it happens again, we're done. Or at least somebody's done because that solar flare is going to be able to take out one part of the Earth, whether it hits the United States, whether it hits Australia, whatever it hits, somebody's going down. And can you imagine if an entire country and maybe more were taken out by a gigantic solar flare? We have no protection that we know of for this whatsoever at this time. We know it can happen. We know we've been hit by minor ones. We've seen bigger ones miss. This, it's, I'm not trying to fear monger, by the way. Just calm down. I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm not trying to freak everybody out. But I'm just saying one of these things could be heading towards Earth and we could be in trouble. If it hits us, it could take years to get back up. And that's if some other country doesn't invade. And the amount of people that would die would be out of control. If you're in a hospital, the generators would only last so long. I mean, you know, and certain patients would take priority over others. You know, you may even see things like people over 70, they just get just throw you, you're done, you know, bam. Uh, it would be very bizarre if it, 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 you can look it up. Go Google it. I'm not joking. Go Google what would happen when a solar flare takes us out or an EMP. EMP. Get into EMPs. Forget solar flares. Talk about EMPs. Talk about another country attacking another country with an EMP from the sky. That's some real scary stuff when you look at it. Uh, folks, it is freaky what can be done and what could happen. And the sun is, this is scary. I don't know what that is. But if something happens to the sun, we're talking about millions and billions of years, we think, until the sun burns out. But what in the world is this? Is it the solar winds or the solar, uh, the high-speed solar winds that are disrupting the satellite? They have not given us concrete evidence as to what in the world this is yet. They haven't told us. Uh, we've seen video courtesy of NASA, as you see on these pages that I'm looking at. And, and nowhere here does it really say exactly what it means like it says. I mean, there's an audio clip. You can watch this video on the Business Insider. I'll put it down in the description box down below. Uh, but that's it. We could all be doomed. Do you guys think we're doomed? I don't know. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And leave a like as well, and leave a comment because I'll engage with you on the new comment section of YouTube, which I love this new comment section, by the way. And um, maybe I'll even give you a heart. My name is Joe Cronin, this is Shame on News, and you 
can't handle the news. Stay tuned for more news right here on Shame on News.